Hey friends and family, this is SP with another news nugget. I have that receipt um, about Quonell is setting the record straight. Basically, he's clapping back saying, look here, you know, I know things that Brittany was saying. And you guys, let me not put it in my intro. I need you to subscribe to this channel and then I'll drop that nugget. Here we go. But subscribe to the channel. I'm waiting. Well, he's been her biggest defender, but tonight, Juan LX is telling us why he no longer supports or believes Brittany Bowen's story. Bowens is the mother of four-year-old Malia Davis, who has been missing for weeks. Juan L spoke exclusively to our Larry Seaver tonight. Larry, so many people we know are following this case and have opinions, and I'm sure they want to hear what Quanell has to say. Yeah, we have to start with this. Quanell does not believe she knows where to find her daughter, Malia Davis. But what Brittany Bowens told the activist coming out our front doors made him run straight to prosecutors. People think you are partly to blame for what happened. 25 minutes after their sit down with Lynn Cannon, Quan Olek says Brittany Bowens admitted talking with Darian Vince, the suspect in her four-year-old daughter's disappearance after his arrest. Details so sensitive he gave them only to police. And it also said to me when he was riding in my car, what she believed really happened to me. At that point, I knew what needed to be done. And so I arranged to quickly go and meet as soon as I could with the investigators at the highest levels of this case and share with them everything that we had learned and discovered. Speaking for the first time since cutting ties with Bowens, Juan L told us Brittany's sister asked him to help Malia's mom manage media and her emotions. Two days on the job, Juan L saw red flags. He claimed sources in Brittany's own family told him troubling details about Malia's care. And in private, Juan L says he saw a different Brittany than the one seen on TV. Uh, there was not a lot of tears. She was always calm, fluid, clear. Now, whenever there was a public thing, she would break down. Still, the activist hung around, he claims, to get information he feared police could not. Bowens did not answer calls or return our messages. Law enforcement sources did confirm that Quanell told prosecutors about Brittany's words, her behavior, and his suspicions. Quanell does not believe Brittany knows where to find Malia, but her former advocate is bothered by other details he says she shared with him. She knows the truth, and she knows that eventually she's going to have to answer for that. Quanell refused to give us any more information about the details Bowen gave him, allegedly. Prosecutors, and I should say authorities tonight, did confirm that Quanell gave them that information. They are vetting it, trying to figure out what is true and what is not. Police, though, still need tips tonight, especially from anyone who saw Vince or his car May 3rd all the way until late May 4th. We're live. Larry, see what you love it. Still looking for that little girl, Larry.